coming up to 20 past eight. More controversy arising from last week's demonstrations in London. Video has emerged of a wheelchair being user being manhandled to the floor by police officers during last Thursday's tuition fees protests in London. This footage has been viewed nearly 19,000 times since it was first posted on the YouTube website yesterday. Police say they will hold an internal investigation into this incident. They haven't received any formal complaint yet from the man involved, Jody McIntyre, who has cerebral palsy and was reliant on his brother to help him move through the demonstrators in his wheelchair. And uh, he joins us now, Jody's joining us from his home in South East London. Morning, Jody. Thanks very much for joining us. Perhaps you can explain what was going on there. Well, I was attacked by the police twice during Thursday's demonstration. In the first incident, I was hit with a baton on my shoulder before being dragged out of my wheelchair by four police officers. In the second incident, one of the officers from the first incident recognised me, came running over, pushed me out of my wheelchair and then dragged me across the road. However, I think it is important that we contextualise these events rather than looking at them in isolation. You just had a piece before with John Pilger speaking about WikiLeaks. Just as WikiLeaks is exposing British imperialism yeah. abroad, That's not we, if, must, if, we, if, we must recognise that that imperialism okay. abroad right. cannot survive with oppression at home. All right, Jody, let's, let's not... Home okay, is let's just... What do, we're now seeing. Thank you. Let's just deal with the specific issue of what happens to you, if I may. You say the police officers recognised you and then dragged you out of your wheelchair. Why would they have recognised you? One of the officers recognised me from the first incident <laughs> where four officers dragged me out of my wheelchair and carried me a hundred metres down the road after one officer had struck me with a baton. Had they previously asked you to move on? Had you had any communication with them up to that point? Sorry, I didn't hear that right. question. Had you been addressed by the police officers before they manhandled you? Had they told you to move? Had they asked you to move out of the way? No, they were hitting us with batons and punching us. So you're saying it was entirely unprovoked. Have, have you made a complaint at all to the police about what happened? I haven't made a complaint yet, but I'm in discussions with my lawyer and I will be doing so in the near future. Mm. Um, was this your... this wasn't your first protest that you've attended, was it? No, I've been on all the student demonstrations and I've been to many demonstrations in the past and despite the police's bullying tactics and despite the government and the media's witch hunt now releasing images of protesters that they are claim claiming are wanted these tactics of divide and rule are not going to work okay. we are all going to continue to come out onto the streets time and time again. Jody. And I hope that just as I was unseated from my wheelchair on Thursday, I hope that every member of this government is also unseat unseated. Right, well, leave, right. let's leave the politics to one side Jody. for a second. We just want to stick with this incident. Could, could we just read out a, a, um, a message we've received from a wheelchair user called Matt? who says, if you protest, you must expect the risks associated. I'm a wheelchair user. If you take legal action, it's a joke, because all protesters can then use that as a get-out-of-jail card. Jody knew the risks. If you want to be treated equally, you have to take the rough with the smooth. How would you respond to that? Of, well, of course I accept the risks, and the evidence of that is that I was 
present at the protest. However, I think we are living in a very strange society if we should be scared that our police might hit us with batons when we are exercising our democratic right to peacefully protest. All okay, right, we have Jody. to leave there. Jodie, thanks very Thank much. Thank you very much. Jodie McIntyre there. And there has been a statement from the Metropolitan yep. Police. They say they have not yet received a formal complaint about the incident. They have set up an internal investigation, but they've also told us they will be getting in touch uh, with...